In quantum information holography, the universe begins not as a point of infinite mass, but as a sea of spinning quantum state vectors. These are like tiny clocks made of light, all spinning at the speed of light in every direction, containing all possible configurations of energy and information. This sea of spinning information is what we call the singularity, not a single point in space, but a vast, multidimensional field of pure possibility. Each of these spinning light vectors has a frequency. That frequency is calculated using a simple rule. Take 2 times pi and divide it by the number of ticks of Planck time it takes to complete one full rotation. In other words, angular frequency equals 2 pi divided by t, where t is the number of Planck time units per full spin. Only very specific values of t allow these spinning light patterns to stay coherent over time. These special t values are connected to prime numbers that leave a remainder of 1, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, or 29 when divided by 30. These frequencies resist decoherence, meaning they don't vanish or fall apart, they survive. They become the stable building blocks of the universe, matter, particles, and the geometry of space and time. These spinning light vectors then project outward onto a holographic screen like a cosmic film reel. This screen is made of quantum scale pixels called qubits, each capable of recording interference patterns formed by the spinning light. These patterns determine what we see as matter, energy and curvature in space. When the interference is constructive, meaning the waves line up, the result is high probability structure and form. When it's destructive, when the waves cancel each other out, there is no structure. And we call that dark energy or the vacuum. Space and time themselves emerge from how these light clocks spin. In Einstein's theory, time slows down the faster you move. In QIH, time also slows down depending on how fast the quantum state vector is spinning. If it spins close to the speed of light, time almost stops from its point of view. Gravity in this model is no longer a force acting at a distance. It's a result of how these spinning light vectors curve their paths when they interfere. Just like a guitar string under tension vibrates in a curve, space-time vibrates with light, and that vibration curves the space around it. Acceleration is caused by the second derivative of the spin, how quickly the spinning changes. The faster the QSV changes its direction, the more it curves, and that curvature is what we experience as gravity. Now particles like quarks and electrons appear when specific angular frequencies line up and interfere with each other in stable ways. A quark might be created from three different angular frequencies spinning together in harmony. Leptons, like electrons, come from single coherent frequencies and particles like photons or gluons appear from combinations or transitions between frequencies. Their energy comes from the angular frequency multiplied by a constant called Planck's constant. Their mass is that same energy divided by the square of the speed of light. This matches exactly with what we observe in experiments. Life and consciousness are not separate from this. The same spinning light that forms particles also forms the structures of neurons and microtubules in the brain. These microtubules resonate with certain angular frequencies. When the interference inside them is constructive, it encodes memory and awareness. When it decoheres, that's unconsciousness. The brain, in this way, becomes a quantum information processor, a reflection of the same spinning light geometry as the universe itself. The equation that describes this unified energy system says the rate of change of energy over time equals Planck's constant multiplied by the sum of two terms. One term represents gravitational curvature and the other represents the interference pattern of spinning light vectors. This equation connects gravity, quantum mechanics and consciousness in one line. The final form of the universe, the master equation, is a sum over all decoherence-resistant angular frequencies. Each term in that sum includes a stable amplitude, a direction of projection, a frequency of spin, and a phase of alignment. All other unstable frequencies fade away into the background and become what we call dark energy. This master equation doesn't just include quantum mechanics and gravity. It also contains the math of thought, the rhythm of brain waves, the structure of DNA, and the expansion of space. In the end, all of reality, from atoms to awareness, is the projection of spinning light. The angular frequencies define how fast light spins. 
The interference patterns define what exists and what fades away. The structure of prime numbers determines what survives and what decoheres, and everything we experience is a holographic reflection of the singularity written in the language of spinning geometry and light. The universe is not made of matter. It is made of music, light spinning at the right frequencies in harmony, playing out across the canvas of space-time.